Hi everyone. So today we'll be having an example on lateral earth pressure. Let's begin. We are asked to calculate the Rankine active and passive forces per unit length of the given wall below. And we are asked to determine the location of the resultant. So the given retaining structure has a length of 4.5 meters here. And the backfill is sand with a unit weight of 17 kilonewton per cubic meter. And then since this is sand, the cohesion is equal to zero. And there is no given location of the water table. So we assume that the unit weight here is a dried unit weight. For us to determine the Rankine active and passive forces, it would be easier for us to provide or draw the pressure distribution oh, sorry and in this case the pressure at the ground surface would be equal to zero for the sand and increasing along the depth of the retaining structure. This is the, <coughs> sorry. Let's say let's start with active force. So this is, this will be our active force and the distribution would be increasing as the depth of as the depth increases so the pressure active pressure at the ground surface would be equal to zero and let's say the active pressure at the depth of 4.5 we have a formula for this that would be equal to for active this is k sub a or the active uh, coefficient of active pressure multiplied by our overburden pressure so let's try to solve let's consider first the active force <clears throat> Let's begin by solving the K or the coefficient of lateral earth pressure active. <clears throat> the formula would be 1 minus sine phi prime divided by 1 plus sine of phi prime. By the way, the angle of friction, <clears throat> effective angle of friction is given to be 32 degrees. So if we substitute, we have 1 minus sine of 32 degrees all over 1 plus sine of 32 degrees. And that would give us the active coefficient of lateral earth pressure of 0 0.307. So let's now solve for the active pressure. So we can see from the stress diagram our at H which is equal to zero, we can say that our active pressure is equal to zero. You can use Z equals zero or H or D up to you. Then at H is equal to 4.5 meters. 
Let us solve for the effective stress, and that would be equal to, or let's just solve directly for the active pressure, which is equivalent to our K sub A, or the pressure coefficient, multiplied by the effective stress. And that would be equal to our K sub A of 0 0.307. And the effective stress would be gamma multiplied by our H. And let me rewrite. We have gamma of 17 kilonewton per cubic meter multiplied by the depth of 4.5 meters. And so the resulting unit would still be in pressure kilonewton per square meter. So by solving this equation, we can get 23.49 the unit would be kilonewton per square meter because this is kilonewton per cubic meter and this is in meter okay so after solving for the active pressure Given the similar, given the triangle here, the active pressure distribution, we can solve for D. Sorry. Active force now. Which is our P sub A. And that would be equal to one half of our sigma sub a prime multiplied by our h or considering this triangle and that would be one half of 23.49 kilonewton per square meter multiplied by h which is 4.5 meters and so the resulting unit would be kilonewton per meter or the force per unit length. And that would be 50, sorry, 52.85 kilonewton per meter. And of course, if we want to get the location of our active force, that is simply equal to our h over 3 or 4.5 over 3, which is 1.5 meters. This is 1.5 meters from the bottom of the wall or from bottom of the wall. Okay. All right, so that would be our answer. We have the active force of 52.85 and located at 1.5 meters from the bottom of the wall. Now, similarly, for the passive pressure, if we are to consider the same depth of 4.5, we'll be having, let's say, this time it's P sub 
Bhakti and this would still be zero and our sigma sub p prime would be this time k sub p multiplied by sigma sub not prime and solving for our passive force this time we need to solve first for our k sub p, which is 1 plus sine of p prime divided by 1 minus sine of p prime. And that would be 1 plus sine of 32 degrees divided by 1 minus sine of 32 degrees. Okay, and from here we can get k sub p of 3.26. So similarly, at h is equal to 0, our pressure, passive pressure would still be equal to 0. But at h is equal to 4.5, our passive pressure would be k sub p multiplied by our overburden pressure or the effective stress. And let's just simply plug in the value. This is 3.26 multiplied by the unit weight of 17 kilonewton or 17 kilonewton per cubic meter multiplied by again a depth of 4.5 meters and our k sub p prime or the passive pressure would be equal to 249.39 kilonewton per square meter so with this again the location of our passive pressure would be equal to h over 3. Oh, sorry. The solve first for p sub p. So the passive force would be equal to the area of the triangle, which is one half of 249.39 kilonewton per square meter, multiplied by the height, which is still 4.5 meters. And that would give us a value of P sub P or passive force of 561.13 kilonewton per meter. So then the location of our P sub P would still be H over 3 and that would be also equal to 1.5 meters from the bottom of the wall. Thank you.